Who the hell are you? Her name is Sam Wheeler. Truth be told, Alex, I prefer Samantha. You two know each other? No, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out she's Zane's guy. He didn't figure it out. You two have a nice... Ugh, you know I don't mean it. What the hell did you do? I didn't do anything. Well, except for the thing that I did. Don't you walk away from me. Kiss my ass. You really have no concept of boundaries, do you? And believe me, three is my kind of guy. Well, in that case, welcome to the firm. Harvey. Look, I'm not that big on apologies, so you're not gonna get one. You kept working on it even after I told you to stay out of it? I'm not big on apologies either. This is the best you're gonna get. Okay, we did it your way. We talked to Max and we presented a united front. You better not be saying you want to divide it now. What? I wasn't trying to make things better with you. He wanted me to keep an eye on you. Let me guess, you want to be the one to do it. No, I don't. He's your client, you do it. Unless, of course, you need me to hold your hand. I'm pretty sure I can take care of this myself. <laughs> Look at you sweating it out in the law library like a first year. I didn't know you could read. I'm just looking at the pictures. I guess sit down and I'll bring you up to speed. I have a better idea. Why don't I sit down and tell you how we're gonna get that building? You still work in the Fox case? I believe Donna told you I was, and Donna's no liar. Why? Sounds like a plan. Are you sure you can handle them? Negan Dadu Wakoyi. Yeah, but can you handle them? If I didn't know any better, Donna, I'd say he's apologizing to you. That's funny, I was thinking he was apologizing to you. Well, I can understand why we're both confused. It's a pretty weak apology. He didn't even use the word sorry. I don't think he even knows the word sorry. You two finished? We're just getting started. Take a chair, Harvey. And pour us a couple of drinks while you're at it. If I'd known this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have said anything, much less I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. He does know the word. Yeah, just not how to use it. Mm-hmm. I already picked this fight and I'm not backing down now. So unless you want to give me a direct order that I wouldn't follow anyway, I suggest you get out of my way because I got a case to win. I didn't say that. You didn't need to because you're here with your pass the butter voice. I meant I want to tape your mouth shut. I don't just box, Harvey, I kickbox, and my leg is 50 times stronger than your arm. You wanna figure out how to get out of it? Or you wanna make up fairy tales about how you'd kick my ass? But there's no way I am letting Eric, I need a haircut, Caldor, get the better of one of my people. You know we went out? Of course I do, I know everything. Even the time that you tried to... No, you don't know anything. You're just trying to get me to spill the beans because Donna wouldn't. Whatever you're up to, it's not gonna happen because you're not getting on that plane. Donna told you. You're damn right Donna told me. I don't believe it. She led me to think that I Samantha, was- Samantha, what do you say we hit the gym and go a few rounds? Not tonight. Why not? Because I'd feel bad that I lost a client and I'd let you win and I don't want to let you win. You really think you can beat me, don't you? I know I can. Hey, Harvey, dick over any of your partners lately? Samantha, nice weather we're having. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, and I ignored it because I have no idea what you're talking about. What kind of guy? Handsome, powerful men it goes one of two ways. You either want a woman who doesn't challenge you at all or you want one who challenges you all the time. I'm sorry, I stopped listening after the handsome and powerful part. I'm here to get you to let her off the hook. And why should I do that? Because you used to sleep with her. This isn't about me having her back. It's about you having mine. And you didn't. When you told her about me, you didn't when I came to you for help, and you don't have it right now. Maybe I didn't have your back, but on this one, I can't. Guess I'm saying if you're not willing to have her back, think of it as having mine. You look lost. I was just, um... But you're buying, because after all, I had your back. I am never gonna hear the end of this, am I? No, sir, you are not. You got any more ex-girlfriend lawyers I should know about? I'll send you a list. I know I'm interrupting, but can I come in? Why not? Sitting by myself doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. You did not break privilege when you told Donna. 
In other words, I could throw Donna under the bus. I know you won't do it, but it had to be said. Listen, Harvey, I appreciate this, but I don't need you checking up on me. Where else do I have to be? Jesus, last night it was Jessica, tonight it's Mike Ross. Am I gonna have to hear stories about him now, too? What I meant was, I keep getting reminded of how alike we are. We can't do that. Not his clients, Harvey. Yours. What happened to teammates don't do that? Things change. Like what? Why don't you ask your girlfriend? And instead of feeling bad about it, like you said you did, you were off having a little romp with the person whose fault it really was. So give up your clients or don't. But if your answer is no, I'm gonna put you through that wall. Whatever it is, I am tired of talking. Well, we're not talking. We're going. I'm not fighting you. Yeah, you are. You've been talking about it since the day you got here. Now you're pissed and you said you wanted to put me through a wall. Well, here I am. You feel awful about what you did and I don't want any excuses when I kick your ass. I'm surprised you can sit after I kicked your ass. You didn't kick anything, but I'll admit, you did pretty good for a guy in his 70s. Hey, those are fighting words. You want to go again? No. Me neither. You gave me your word that Robert's name stays up. Did you tell him that? Yes, I did. Then what the fuck is going on here? I just don't have it in me to roll over to her, Harvey. I'm not asking you to roll over. I'm asking you to wait this thing out. Because the second she leaves, we're gonna put his name right back on that wall. Then as far as I'm concerned, you met with him last night, which means it's not a new case. She has a problem with that, she can take it up with me. Harvey. Samantha, I was just gonna come see you. No, you weren't. You know how I know that? Because my new client, the one you gave me, was served with a lawsuit at your condo last night and you didn't tell me about it. You heard about Brick Street already. Did you think I wouldn't? That's possible. Hey, Jeremy's here. Ready to go do this deposition? Jeremy? I gave her Brick Street about a month ago. I might have forgotten to mention that to you last night. Samantha, meet Mike Ross. Mm. The protege. Okay, why did she just say it like that? I'm less concerned with meeting you than kicking your ass, since I'm the one you're gonna be going up against, not him. Hang on. And if you think that sob story is gonna work here, you're wrong. Sob stories are a specialty. Well, I call it bringing a violin to a gunfight. Your protege is a douche. I'm not gonna argue with you there. I know the client, I know the contract. And I know the man. You think I can't beat him? He's never gonna let me live it down if I duck him. Then we're doing this together. You know what? I'm getting a little tired of you telling me I can't handle this kid. Shit. That's right. Harvey. No, you're gonna listen to what I have to say because you lied to me. I didn't lie. I changed my mind. Bullshit. You're right. It is bullshit. Because I don't take orders from you and I tried to tell you that and you wouldn't listen. So I did what needed to be done.